Today I'm going to show you how to make a chatbot on Pickaxe. And to do that, the first step is to go down to create a pickaxe and click it. Then we're going to pick chatbot. And then here we're in the chatbot builder of pickaxe. And if you're not familiar with this, this left side panel is um, the panel to build your chatbot and program it. And then over here on the right side is just a preview of what it looks like. Um, over here on the left side, we're going to give it a role, describe its behavior, how we want it to function. You can add training dialogue, examples of how it speaks, and a lot of other advanced settings. Then over here is what the chatbot will ultimately look like to the user. And today we're going to make a business coach that gives advice on your business idea. So to do this, we're going to go over here. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch me write all this out, so I'm just going to kind of paste in something I wrote right before this video. And I'll kind of walk you through it. So here you'll see that I've broken it into these all cap sections with descriptions underneath. It's a wonderful technique for kind of breaking down a chatbot. Um, here I said it's a legendary startup coach, and I said you are an expert in startup history, businesses. And your goal is to assist users to launch their business and help them focus on what matters. And your method and style is to provide real world examples and give detailed feedback and to be critical in a friendly way. Um, so we can go talk to it over here, but before we do, I'm going to add a quick intro message. Um, hey there, tell me a bit about the business you're starting. Great. So then over here, let's test it out. Let's say I am making software to detect whether text was generated by AI. I want to sell it to teachers. And let's test it out. Let's see the sort of answer we get. Um, so over here we entered it, and it's going to give us an answer in real time. And wow, this looks like an answer, but already I can tell right off the bat, it's too long. I'm going to add a new section here, output formatting rules. And let's just say, um, be very brief in your answers no more than, let's just say, 50 words. So let's just try this again. We're going to clear it. And um, I am selling sandals online with uh, that you can customize with photos from your phone. Not the best business idea. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a break. I'm coming up with this off the top of my head. Great. So this is now short. And it's telling me to look into Nike um, that have implemented similar features. So, you know, we could spend a lot more time working on this, and I usually do. We can add training dialogue, give it examples. Like, let's say we wanted to always mention a business. We can kind of give it examples of how we want it to talk. We can kind of go into some advanced options, and we could say that um, we wanted the dialogue, you know, the max input and output to go out. We can want it way more random. But let's just say that we like this. And let's just show you how to finish it. So we're going to click on Next Step. And here we're on a page where we can kind of see a preview of what it is. We can shuffle through some images that have already been uploaded to Pickaxe. Uh, or we can upload our own. But let's say I love this one. Let's keep it. Here we can pick the icon that picks that shows up right here, the chat. Um, if you're a gold member, you can upload any picture. And here we can put the placeholder text that's over here. So you could do something very standard and dry, like enter text here, dot, dot, dot. But I'm a fun guy. I'm a very fun guy, so I'm going to say, um, hey there, young Steve Jobs. Lay it on me. And we're going to publish it. And now, after hitting this Publish Chatbot, this chatbot is now live, and we can share it with anybody. We can click here, and we could use it ourselves. We could hit Copy here and send um, a version of this page without these... Um, you know, metrics here, just like a public facing version of the page, or we can hit embed and we can embed it on our website. And here it pops up a little preview of what people would see. Um, you can see mobile or desktop, and you can do all sorts of things here. We could do light mode, dark mode, uh, we could white label it, um, we could show the picture, not show the picture. We can uh, change all the text if we want. We can make it all Anton if we wanted. So, here we'll see Anton, it's over there. Um, you can't actually test it here. You can type in see what it would look like, but this is not functional pages, just to design the thing. And then as soon as we like it, we can then hit this code and copy it anywhere. And if we ever want to edit it, 
we can again just hit edit and then we're back in our chatbot. And there we have it. It's that easy to make a chatbot on Pickaxe. And you can get started today for free. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment. And if you're curious about how to make other sorts of chatbots, leave a comment. We're always looking for ideas for new content to make.